the number of animals being butchered every day today for uh, human consumption now runs into billions can you can you you know even even come to terms with that billions of living beings being butchered to satisfy our taste buds every day and is it too much to see how that is a part of the same pattern that leads to exploitation of little human beings within the family or in the school or at some other place isn't the tendency to exploit just the same you have a small thing at your home four year old that small thing could be your son your daughter your nephew your niece huh a small living being a small helpless vulnerable living being and you exploit her and you have a small animal it could be a hen a duck a lamb and you slaughter it to feed your senses are these two events really dimensionally different from each other they belong to the same level they are part of the same pattern and the same problem are, are you getting it and with and with human beings becoming more powerful technologically economically the little being at home is even more staggeringly at the mercy of the grown ups because it is the grown ups that have all the power the little one does not know technology the little one has no idea of his or her rights the little one is absolutely at the mercy of everybody else and these grown ups they have so much today they never had so much in history they can do anything don't you see how human consciousness and the corruption within it is manifesting itself in a hundred ways and sexual exploitation of vulnerable sections is just one way this corruption is manifesting itself and that you cannot take or take care of the problem of childhood sexual trauma unless you take care of the problem of consciousness itself and that you cannot take or take care of the problem of childhood sexual trauma unless you take care of the problem of consciousness itself obviously we can have more stringent laws we can educate our populations better and deeper we can do a lot of things to try to curb this menace right you could have cctvs in schools and there are so many other things you can do you can start teaching good touch and bad touch even to 3 year olds you can do all these things but even as i speak of it i'm sure you are sensing that this won't work to a great extent right because to what extent can you monitor the life of a 3 year old or a 6 7 year old it's not humanly possible so while all those things surely must be done laws must be more stringent the execution has to be rapid and objective and as much care as is possible must be taken but we must also know that this problem does not arise from lax laws this problem arises from as we said the corruption of human consciousness 
around eight years back, I was talking to college students like you, and I said, "Rapists, we all are." If you if you search for that video or that article on the net, you will find it. Rapists, we all are. So it's the same thing. That we don't understand that these things are not about a particular kind of conduct against a particular individual. The way our civilization is progressing or deteriorating, the way we are being conditioned or cultured, the problem lies there. We have been told, and we are continuously being told, that the purpose of life is pleasure and happiness. If that is the highest that you can have in life, why must you not be prepared to pay any price for it? Tell me, please. If your culture, your conditioning, your education, your media, your family, your school, your entire environment is telling you that you exist to be happy then why must you not do things that make you happy if the entire world economy is running on the back of forced consumption then why must you not internally become a consumer and nothing else who am i i'm a consumer Whatsoever I can lay my hands on, I'll consume it. And consumption is happiness. Happiness is the purpose of life, and consumption is the way to get happiness. So I spot a vulnerable four-year-old in my home, and I'll go and consume her, because that gives me happiness. The only morality is to be happy. That's what we are being told. Are you getting it? 